I'm just excited. I'm low key excited. I am. Uh... Marquis Johnson's eligibility argument started when he transferred from Chaparral to Saguaro High over the summer for personal reasons, then found out a coach had also made the same transfer. The Arizona Interscholastic Association deemed that a prior contact violation because players aren't allowed to follow coaches from one team to another, so they suspended Marquis for the whole season. His dad, Ron, wouldn't stand for that and took it to court. Kids shouldn't be put in the middle of you know, legal spats and stuff like that. So, and that's what, you know, we wanted to make sure that we didn't hurt the school. The first judge's ruling said Marquis must be allowed to play, but his coaches still didn't send him into the games because any game Marquis played in might have to be forfeited if the AIA won their appeal. We had a long journey, so um, it's still kind of hard to take in, but once I finally suit up and I'm in the game, it's, it's going to feel real. In Thursday's appellate hearing, the judge again ruled in Marquis' favor and even ordered the AIA not to take any action against Saguaro High School for any games the running back does play in. Enjoyed it for my little, you know, five minutes, but now, you know, time to get back to work. Within hours, Marquis got texts from an ASU wide receivers coach and other colleges told him their scouts are headed to Arizona. It's just good to know that now that I'm officially playing and they know that I'm officially playing, I feel like they're relieved because now they can tell, you know, go back to their head coach and say, like, listen, he's playing. We got some film on him this year. So including Friday's game, there are three games left in Suoro's regular season. If they manage to make it all the way to the state championship, that'll be four more playoff games, some extra opportunities for Marquis to impress those scouts. In Scottsdale, Spencer Blake for Arizona's Family.